We all remember Pokemon, right? You know, the uh, kids show where they enslave these animals that have powers with these Pokeballs. Yeah, that Pokemon. These creatures get captured by literal 10-year-olds for what purpose? To do battle against one another for sport. But if you really think about it in a logical way, this just doesn't make sense. Because in a universe where magical creatures exist, wouldn't the human race somehow find a way to maximize profits off of these unique creatures by selling them off for money? I mean, since the dawn of time, when have humans not proven to see something of value and not use it for their own profitable gain? So with that being said, it's very clear that in this universe, they had to have sold Pokemon. I know I would have if I had the chance, and I, I, I don't, unfortunately. My life sucks. But then I started wondering, if humans are selling Pokemons individually like they're dogs, how would they market that? How would humans come up with a commercial that's good enough to convince consumers to buy Pokemons? Well, that's what I'm here for. Because today, I'm here to show you what it would be like if individual Pokemons had their own commercials. Okay, so I'm not making a commercial for every single Pokemon because there's like 69,420 of them. I feel like all we need is just a good three to be honest with you. And those three are gonna be Pikachu, Charizard, and Clefairy. Do you ever feel lonely? Like you need companionship in your life? Do you want someone by your side who will always have your back? Then you need a Pikachu. He's everything you want in a friend. He's cute, he's cuddly, he's electric. Oh no, my Tesla is stuck on the side of the road because I forgot to charge it. What am I gonna do now? Pikachu! No way! My car is fully charged! He'll charge your car, he'll charge your phone, he'll charge just about anything that's electric. And if anybody tries to pick a fight with you, Pikachu will not hesitate to tail whip a bitch. Hi there, my name is Hank, and when I found out about this new Pikachu thing, I immediately put my dog down with a shotgun in my living room in front of my wife and kids, and I told him, let's go out and get ourselves one of them daggone Pikachus. And ever since that day, our lives have never been better. Ain't that right, kids? They'll get over it. So put your dog down today and get yourself a Pikachu for only $69.99 plus tax. Wait, but why did you put your dog down? You could have just had both of them, right? Well, you see, that's because we... I don't know. Never mind, don't put your dog down because apparently Pikachu is compatible with dogs. Pikachu, a man's real best friend. We are not liable for any dead dogs. So that's what it'd be like if Pikachu had his own commercial and was for sale to the public. This is a very good way to advertise Pikachu because I feel like if there's one thing that the TV show Pokemon showed us is that Pikachu is just the best homie to have on your shoulder at all times. Like when I was in elementary school getting made fun of for having man titties, I always wished that I had a Pikachu by my side who would defend me, but that never happened. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on to Charizard. FBI, open up! Aw, oh, man, the IRS is trying to throw me in jail because I keep evading my taxes. It's not fair, man. Why can't I just commit tax fraud without getting in trouble? Well, now you can with Charizard. Charizard? Yeah, Charizard. He'll burn and kill just about anything. So if the IRS comes to your door to collect taxes, Charizard will burn their ass to a crisp. Hey, you, you're going to jail for committing tax fraud. No, I'm not. Get him, Charizard. <laughs> Ah! Now I can commit all the tax fraud I want. Thanks, Charizard. For only $2.99.99, you can get yourself a Charizard and commit tax fraud today. I used to get bullied by this kid named Johnny at school every day. He would always beat me up and steal my lunch money. But then I got myself a Charizard and he freaking melted Johnny's face off and killed him. It was awesome. I'm Johnny's father and my son was brutally murdered by a Charizard. But I never really liked his ass, so it kind of did me a favor. Thanks, Charizard. We are not liable for any burnt children. Now that was a pretty good Charizard commercial. I don't know about you, but I'm sold. I want to buy one of those things today. But not to commit tax fraud or anything, because I'm not, like, that's not something I want to do. Obviously. I'm so doing that. So we now know what a Charizard and Pikachu commercial would be like. But what about a Clefairy commercial? <laughs> Hello? Hey Rodney, it's Joshua. Oh hey, what's going on Joshua? Nothing much, I uh, just wanted to talk to you about something. Yeah, sure, what's up? Well, it's just that me and my wife have been married for over 30 years and I still love her, but I just don't know if I'm sexually attracted to her anymore. Oh wow. Yeah, I just can't get it up anymore. But you've been married as long as I have. You're having trouble in bed too, right? Nope. What? How? Your wife is like a four at best. One word. Clefairy. Clefairy? The Pokemon? 
How is that supposed to help me? Well, what if I were to tell you that for just $5 an hour, you can have a phone call with Clefairy where she'll tell you everything you need to hear to get you turned on. Really? Yeah, without Clefairy, there's no way I could get it up for my wife. She's like a four at best. Wait, but if Clefairy's the one that's turning you on, then wouldn't that be cheating? Listen, man, would you rather have your wife leave you because of cheating or because you couldn't get it up? Um... Cheating? Well, there's your solution. You know what? You're right, Rodney. I'm gonna call Clefairy right now. Clefairy Hotline. Talk dirty with Clefairy for just $5 an hour. We are not liable for any divorces. Wow, that was very... Wow. Please do not judge me for that. I'm just doing an accurate representation of what a commercial of Clefairy would be like in the Pokemon world. Because I would not, that's not something I would do if Clefairy was in real life. Listen, I'm a very young, spry, fertile, non-erectile, dysfunctional man. I can't say the same for this guy, but me, I can't relate to this. But I'm sure there are very many middle-aged to older men out there who can relate to this problem and would probably use a Clefairy for this situation. Don't hate me, don't hate the player, just hate the game, Pokemon. So now we all know what it would be like if Pokemons were sold individually and had their own commercials. After seeing those three commercials, which Pokemon are you most likely to buy? Comment down below. Would you like to see me create more of these commercials for different Pokemons that you didn't get to see in this video? Comment down below. Did you enjoy this video or do you hate me and you think I should throw myself off of a cliff? Comment down below. My name is Ash Ketchum and you're watching Disney Channel. I have clinical depression. Subscribe!